We're going to take a look at EOQ safety stock single period. What single period means is the in inventory expires after it is used um, and it can't be carried forward. Classic example is a newspaper. Day old newspapers, that's old news. You know, it's a day old word newspaper isn't worth anything. So, um, you know, the question is if you had a newsstand, or in this case we're selling cannolis, you know, how much can you make and make your most profit, so to speak? So, if this is our average daily demand here, you know, how much more or less inventory should we take? We have to determine what is the cost of, of under or not having enough inventory, and that's basically our selling price minus our cost. Or in other words, our profit. If we don't stock enough units to satisfy our customers, we're foregoing profit. Um, so that's the cost there. Now the cost of oversupply, of course it's our cost of the unit, plus our cost, how much it takes us to dispose, and you know, in other words, how much it takes us to get rid of the unit, and <coughs> if there's any salvage value. So those are our two costs that we need to balance out in figuring out this problem. All right, to solve this problem, we know that our cost of under is our selling price minus our cost. So in this case, we were given 10, we were given five, 10 minus five equals five. Our cost of oversupply is the cost of the unit plus disposal minus salvage. This problem, if you actually think about it for a second, because it almost seems one of those relative terms, kind of like a credit and a debit, because it feels like you should be adding average and subtracting disposal, but you got to think of it as in terms of a cost. So it's, uh, we're, we know our cost is five. We know take cost is one dollar in transportation, for disposal, we know the thrift company will give us $2.50 a dozen, so it's 3.5. Our surplus policy is just simply the ratio of the cost of under over in the denominator is cost to under and cost to over. So this comes out to 0.5882 or 58.82%. Uh, that's how much we should, um, uh, safety stock we should have. So if we're saying, say we decide that our X average is a hundred dozen, a hundred dozen cannolis, um, the fully service our market, we, and we know this is our 50% range here, we're gonna have 50% below, 50% above, we would have to go 8% higher than that, or I'll just round it off to roughly 109 units would be what we would keep in inventory to keep Mr. Watts happy.